Our next guest is known for bringing some sparkle to our Saturday nights as everybody's favourite feisty head judge. Friend of the show, she's back to tell us about a new Strictly tour and a new look of her own. It's Shirley Ballas. <laughs> Now, Shirley, before we get into all of that, though, we need to know if you were at the Iowa State Fair and you were involved in the husband calling contest, what would it be like? It would be Danny. Dan Daniel! <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's been naughty if I'm saying that. Really <laughs> now, listen, we have to talk about this. You are looking fantastic, but you always look mm, fantastic. So, what, what's been happening? Well, I went to have a checkup with the doctor to see if I was eligible for a facelift. I was really seriously thinking about that to each his own. And like a proper knife pro job? Proper mm -hmm. knife job. And he was not comfortable doing it at the moment. So I researched and I had a look and I thought, mm -hmm. what can I try? So I tried the Neogen Plasma, but I wanted to do it over the period of a year because I'm never one to just go on and say, well, look what I'm doing, if I can't see the difference in the wow. results. Yes. Yeah. I had a sagging chin, I had sunspots, I had veins, and I wanted to see if I could tighten up the skin and I have to say I'm absolutely hand on heart wow. I'm delighted with it my results. It does look amazing Shirley you look amazing. I mean look at that jaw look at that oh, jaw. Oh, oh, come on 63 this year. <laughs> 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 I find when it comes to women, you know, maybe doing procedures different, whether it's invasive or invasive, there's a real, like, I find, especially in the UK, a kind of, like, almost turn-up nose kind of feeling. Yeah, there's like, still a bit of a stigma. Yeah, and I, in America, it's like, just do you, do your best life. Like, did you feel any of that? I never, ever felt I had to do it for somebody else, but I always have, I've always been a little bit insecure with my own looks. No. So I wanted to see if I could just, you know look a little more attractive for me. And to each woman her own, yeah, you know, absolutely. I'd rather save, not go out, not have a drink, not mm. do this, mm -hmm. not do that, and take care but of you, my But skin. having got yeah. to know you quite well over the last... Over the very last, well. Uh, very well over the last year, um, cos we did this show called Unbreakable together and we had such a laugh, didn't we? <laughs> we did. But I was aware that you, you do look after yourself yes. sort of more than a lot of us, eating-wise, and we actually, the gang and I, discovered that Shirley, this is ridiculous, had never ever been to McDonald's and had a chicken nugget <laughs> in her whole life. That's why you've got them good legs and good arms. Have you got that, have you got that photo <laughs> that, we that we took of... There she is, having her first ever chicken nugget look oh with Daddy. Oh. Have you been back before? No. No. And have you I not been say since? I went, no. But could you no. Say, you've got to be disciplined. I mean, my goodness, if when you're dancing green and at grown the level... in the ground, it's good for you. Yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. With a not treat here and there. Yeah. yeah what are you doing with carnation milk on the table? Because, I, because my nana used to always have a cup of tea in a cup with carnation milk. And I was gabbling on so much, I forgot to mention it earlier. So that's why I've got the carnation milk. Oh, but, but Judy said it's actually a Caribbean a very thing. very West Indian thing. Are any West Indians in the house? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought, whoop, if a yeah. few of them. Well, I tell you. <laughs> that's why, Shirley, if you're looking at it thinking, I'm trying to get the contract. Carnation milk, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, that sounds all fair now. <laughs> Shirley would never touch that. So, listen, how is the tour going? Yes. I mean, I, I imagine it's a lot more relaxed than it is in terms of the, the TV show. Well, I've got no Moxie there to help me with this, yeah. you know, so two the husbands of mine, my tour husbands for a month, have to say that Craig is really well behaved. It's that Anton de Beck. That really? Anton de Beck. Is he really naughty? Oh, he's cheeky, really? I'm telling you, and he brings so much to the show. He's extremely funny. He wants to grab me by the ankles and swing me around. I mean, get oh, that one. No, and Judy's interested. <laughs> <laughs> he is just a marvel. But you've known him forever, haven't you? I've known him over 30 years. Yes. I can still Have remember you? the first day he came in the studio for his lessons and he was as charming then as he is now. And is there a tour bus? Do you all get on a bus and tra travel oh, around? Oh, we pitch? get a car, we get on the bus, we do all sorts, you know, there's all sorts going on backstage, love. And <laughs> have you got a rider? <laughs> Sounds like we need to hear what's happening backstage, girl. <laughs> have I got a rider? Have you got a rider, yeah. Uh, what, what does that mean? That means what you have... <laughs> your demands that you <laughs> your make, demands your dressing you get room, a runner, yeah. like... Oh, no, do that myself. Oh, do I, it, yeah. I don't need... Uh, yeah, I can do everything myself. <laughs> and surely one of the big... Blessings for you this year, because you hadn't seen him for such a long time, was A, going to America to see your gorgeous son, Mark, that I got mm. to know through you, and then he's been here for a while. But he returned to Dancing with the Stars and won it this year again. He is the best dancer I've ever seen, honestly. Apart well, from his mum. Well, I went out to the United States to see him. I hadn't seen him for a long, long time. 
And just to keep it really short, he got offered the job on Dancing with the Stars. He hadn't done it for five years. And he goes, no, Mum, I'm not. So I flew back to England, ready for our launch show, just about to go on our launch show. And he said, could you fly back tomorrow, Mum? <laughs> I've decided to do it, oh. but I need to get back into shape. You know, and it is like riding a bike, even though he hadn't danced for five years. So I went out there and he had to keep up with me for two weeks. Wow. And he got wow. back into shape. But I have to say, winning that trophy, his body of work, his creativity, all his own music, He's his outfits, his choreography. So was second proud. to none. I was extremely Ooh. proud of him. Look who is mummy. Look yeah, who's mummy. You obviously get such joy from your family, your son and your mum. I mean, I kind of watch on social mom. media. You're so tight, aren't you? Well, I come back once a week from the tour so I can see my mum, even if it, I only saw her for an hour. So we oh. drove back four hours last night, saw her for an hour, came in to do this with the girls and then back off to Leeds. But just seeing her for an hour keeps me going for a whole week. She is my love, she is my rock, she is my queen, she's my everything. If you're listening, Mum, I love you. Oh. None of this is possible without you. <laughs> sure. How did you feel like on the panel with Dancing with the Stars? Oh, Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, well, Len's because Len's gone. And yeah. Bruno's coming over here to do yeah. another well, show. Well, I think at the moment, I spoke to Conrad Green, I think at the moment they're going to keep it to three judges. But, Ooh. you know, the bonus of being over there would be that I would see my son every week. Yeah. And I miss him. We've all got family. I, you know, I saw him at Christmas. He came over for ten days, and then I had a slump for three days. I was telling Denise I couldn't, I couldn't operate. I couldn't do anything. It, it took me a minute to get back, find my feet. I do miss him. I lived uh, almost next door to him for eleven. He's so years, fit you know, as well. Yeah. Can I? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Denise, that's <laughs> not that nice. Him on the phone. Thinking she of... said, "Hello, Mark. You're I fit." Said, back Thinking in the day, you would have been in trouble, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Judging. What was it feel like being known as that like, little feisty, spicy judge? Me? Yeah, it was, it was spicy. Oh, am I a bit spicy? Yes. Oh, spicy. Bit naughty? Spicy. <laughs> spicy. I am a bit spicy, but I'm very, very fair. And you know, I obviously have to judge what's in front of me when I am judging. Yeah. I had a tough time with the social yeah. media last year, you know. So I decided to take a little break yeah. after Why this not? tour. I'll be taking a break. But you know, yeah, I you love it. Amazing. People love it, and I do you my best. And they love you. You are watching. amazing. Yeah. Well, listen, Shirley. It's been a pleasure having you here. Shirley Ballas, everyone. <laughs>